previously on the Benson and Bailey Show. Mm. Oh, my mummy! Oh, f You're not my mummy! He's down there. Let's us get the absolute F out of here. Notice this is running a bit smoother now. Hooray. Don't collapse the bridge. Don't collapse the bridge. Don't collapse the bridge. I need to find the bloody campsite. No, not you. You. So that is what I've just achieved, right there. So that's where I'm heading. Are there any other, like, sort of ones? Well, I think 6672 is the lowest one. So I think we need to be heading towards... Is that 14 or a 44? Because there's the 4s above it, and I can't really tell. I suppose we'll find out. <sighs> this is a dead end, isn't it? Relax. If I head left, I'm going back to the cabin. So. I think I've got a good bearing of my... Uh, compass heading. So I think if I hit, start heading right, that'll take me north. I've said it before, this really is quite a lot. Looking like Skyrim. Particularly the area between Windhold and Doorstar. I've probably made that illusion before. I don't care. The fact of the matter is, I've got to fill this air somehow. And I'd like to fill it with things other than me just screaming like a girl. And at one point I was begging for my money, that was fun. We seem to have got a bit of peace for the moment. Now that we're not in an uh, area of activity. It doesn't seem like the anomaly is going to be following us for the uh, foreseeable. But I've got to figure out where 
don't like how some things look. I think. No. I think I am there, maybe. So if I turn this corner, there isn't. Okay. Yes, there is. I was right. Well, fantastic. Oh, I can fast travel. Can I fast travel? That might help, actually. I mean, I just want to save the game. Right, so, um, actually, I was just, uh, right, so. Six, six, done them ones. 37. Should we start from the top and make our way down? Or what's the nearest one? Is that a 14 or a 44? It was a 44 over here. It was not a 50. So, hang on, I just I want to make sure I don't go the right way. So hang on, guys. It's a 14. How much I know for sure. Go yeah. over five, on me, eh? Right, so I am down here. 63, 61. What would be the closest after that? I would guess 54, 61. That makes a lot of sense to me. Where is 5461 from where I am? Right, I'm really? Oh, okay. So if we head straight north, we should come across our uh, next target. Then. So I came from this way, which is. So this is the fork. So I'm now there, and I want to just follow this path all the way up. Head towards the creepy stuff. No! The creepy stone is a... Fuck! Oh, I don't like that either. shadow in the trees yeah there were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder but when I stopped still hearing the snow crunching under one's boots and turned around there was nobody there I don't like that feeling I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness nothing is as it should be it's some kind of a nightmare and then we found the bodies something told me not to look but it looked like something was sticking out. Or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what the could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn cut or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. Never ever! Gruesome image of madness or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. You want to finish fast forwarding? That is crazy weather. Uh, 
Uh, right. <laughs> it's eldritch as shit. Is Cthulhu gonna come at me? Right, we've done 54. So I guess next one will be 45. 45, 84. 45? Oh, that's a distance. We'll head back down to the starting point. I think I can fast travel actually, so if I can fast travel to that, figure it out from there. We'll see. That's the uh, evil radar tower. I've been there. I don't know why it's evil because it's a shining red light, it's like the Eye of Sauron. Look at that rock outcrop. Amazing how nature can uh, just make mountains shaped like that. So uh, yeah, Sean Bean is, I think, I can't tell what Sean Bean is voicing. Is he voicing the anomaly? Because sometimes you'll just hear him randomly talking as well as you go places where the anomaly isn't. Oh, yes, it's a fast travel. Don't run all the time. I didn't read the second bit. Right, so... That's that. So I want to head sort of off to the side of it, towards that gap there. That's where I'm going. It's running smooth now. It'd be, um... I don't know, this is just a... Fuck yeah. I'm not going to stand in the middle of that. It didn't go very well for me last time. It feels like a highway, at least a main road. So I think that's the main road that I'm on. And that's the... Uh... Sometimes there's a waterfall nearby. Or is it just the wind? Evil Tower. That was where I headed to the first time I started playing. What? What? It's the ambience, man, is getting me. A good horror game is all about ambience and atmosphere. I don't like this already. Huh? So I'm heading down this way. So just follow this down. Don't know what those noises are. I don't like those noises at all. Just follow the path down. We're not quite there yet, so nothing should... I don't know if those are wolves. Well, the... it's either wolves or it's a horn, which begs the question, who's blowing the fucking horn? This is an open air area, and I don't like it. I don't see a fire anywhere. No comfortable little campsite. Apart from the uh, anomaly and the uh, weird yellow spirits, I haven't seen any other character or anything in this game. Not even an animal.
right. I think I've just... I'm there, pretty sure. What does it want? It wants... It wants 45... no. Yes, 45. 45, 84. Which is sort of dead ahead in the middle of the field. So if I just... So that's the... So that way. Into... I, I hope there's field, not a forest. Oh hey, there's a pickup over there. Hello? Anomalies do not exist. We're almost... 20 years ago, I wrote about a strange anomaly occurring in my city. As a reminder, I reported spatial distortions occurring in my city. I've just read the same line twice. Spatial distortions between buildings. They thought I was nuts. Since then, mankind has been witness to thousands of strange, mysterious and unexplained events and phenomena around the world. A lot was documented and supported with hard evidence. Unfortunately, to this day, prominent scientists seem not to notice or simply underestimate this issue. We have asked Dr. Jarvis Northam from the American University of Technology and Life Sciences. Anomalies appearing practically around the globe is an undeniable fact. We know that at least several dozens of such events have taken place in Russia and the United States. We've also received many reports of strange, extraordinary and sometimes dangerous phenomena. Authorities must stop avoiding this issue because every year we register an increase in these so-called anomalies occurring. I do not know what causes them, but frequently repercussions are tragic. Add to that the helpless attempts to cover up these events by the governments of a particular country that are just becoming more and more pathetic. In 1998, Kremlin officially denied the spatial, the, that the special Natural Phenomena Research Unit was established in the 50s to deal with anomalies in any way. So this is not just occur This is not just occurring in Russia. It's happening all around the globe, with particular instances in the United States. Little path there. I think that's where I want to be going. That's throwing me off, actually. I'm going to follow this path. This seems like the right path to follow. I don't know if I'm going to do a big two-hour session for this one because I don't know if my this is where I have to come in order to. I don't like seeing the smoke over there. This is how I have to exit the area, I think. Shut up. God, I would love to hear the sound of civilization. A siren. Train. Phone going off. That was your cue phone and you missed it. Where am I going? I guess I'm now... Do I have a torch? That sounded close. Anyway, I guess I'm now heading that way. Oh, have I got to go all the way round? Have I got to go all the way round? Have I got to go all the way round? This is just the exit. That's such bullshit if that's true. Where's the other coordinate? 43.95, even further away, I think, actually. Forty-three ninety. Right. Right, so we're going to go on a long trek round, by the looks of it. Strap in! Must we waffle... For miles away. Next time on the Benson and Bailey Show. <laughs>